So at, it mo at its most basic level, coaching uh, is defined as a uh, co-creative process that enables the coachee or the system or the team to unleash their possibility and potential. And it's non-directive, right? So if I'm training somebody, I'm basically telling them what to do and I'm imparting information about how to do something specifically. And the content is static, it doesn't change. And the questions are normally from the audience to the coach to facilitate understanding, okay? In consulting, people are paid or companies are paid to come in and help companies do something in a specific way, whether it's technology or change management or, or transformation or so on. So again, it's quite directive, right? In coaching, it's non-directive. The coach is not allowed to provide any solutions. The questions are being asked by the coach to the coachee, not by the audience to the coach. And the content is extremely dynamic because when you set the agenda in the beginning of a coaching engagement, you don't know where the content is going because it's the coachee that sets the agenda. So at its most basic level, coaching is non-directive, it's thought-provoking, it's co-creative, and the coach is there to facilitate and provoke the coachee and challenge the coachee to find their own solutions. Whilst in training and consulting, the trainer or the consultant brings their own expertise or imparts specific knowledge to help the audience or the participants learn something. They tell them solutions or they tell them knowledge.